Yes, hello. Welcome back to Australia Under 23's camp in Tashkent, Uzbekistan. Chris Karuli with you once again for another podcast. I'm joined today by Tyrese Francois and Jay Rich Bagaloo. Boys, how's it going? All good, thank you. Yeah, All I'm good. good. I'm good. How are you enjoying camp so far? A few days in now? Yeah, it's day four. Um, we've had a few sessions now, so it's good to get to know everyone. Um, yeah, it's been enjoyable so far. Um, yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm happy to be around the boys again and yeah, it's going good. A few new faces that you guys have maybe met for the first time because obviously over the last few years the camps have kind of been like the Australian based boys and the overseas based boys. So this is the first chance for some of you to come together. Mm -hmm. No, no, it's a good opportunity for us to all come together um, and play with each other because we won't play with each other or against each other um, with our team. So no, it's good to get to know to everybody. Anyone, Jay, that you've met that you feel like you're going to enjoy playing alongside? I'm not too good with the names at the moment. I've just met them, but um, one of the boys I'm rooming with, Tristan, like I'm getting along with him nice. And yeah, it's good to see some of them. Awesome. Um, going back now, I'm keen to kind of have both of you speak to your journeys to get you where you are today. <laughs> Obviously the short version, because there's been plenty of it. That's happened, um, but both of you have such, I guess, unique backstories, particularly compared to some of these boys based in the A-League. You guys have been overseas for a few years now. So, um, yeah, Ty, if you want to start, just like let us know where you came from, where you're at now. That's yeah, so I was born in Campbelltown, um, Sydney. Um, played for a couple of local clubs, was at a few academies. Then I went on holiday to the UK in 2014. Um, and Fulham were hosting like a summer camp and I just randomly went to one of those. They liked me. They said, if you ever come back, we'll offer you a trial. We came back six months later for a trial, um, got signed after two weeks, went back to Australia, packed all my stuff up. I think I did about seven months at Westfields just to get ready. Um, then yeah, moved, moved over to London and the rest is history to be honest. We've been there ever since. Yeah, awesome. And Jay, you've been all over the place too. Yeah, um, started off in France when I was younger. Played for a little local club there, wasn't too serious. And then moved to Australia when I was about 10, 11. Started playing at Palm Beach Soccer Club. All the way, I played like a bit of MPL there, here and there. And then um, when I was about 16, moved to England. Moved as a striker. Played there for a little bit, went to Dulwich. Uh, they, they like, the strike, I wasn't a striker. I missed a lot of sitters. And then they told me, yeah, we're going to put you at the back. And started playing at the back. Clubs, clubs were interested in me. Then I just stuck to it, stayed at the back. Um, started playing first team at Dulwich. Uh, moved to Welling. Went on trial to some clubs. And then, yeah, Crystal Palace offered me a little training session. And then, yeah, after that, they offered me a contract and then just took off from there. Awesome. What was the hardest thing about changing from a, a striker to a defender? Um, it's the different, like, the, the movements, I think, like getting your body in different type of movements. And um, I find it a little bit easier because I was a striker before. So I could, like, read the... Um, what the other op opponent was going to do next because I was a striker before. And then, yeah, I just wanted to smash people. That's what it was. <laughs> so I was just very aggressive. And then, yeah, that was it. There you go. Um, being at Fulham and, and Palace at the time, have you boys ever played against each other? No, we actually haven't. We actually haven't. So he played, he played against my team twice last year, but I was injured. Um, and then growing up, no, we never played against each other, weirdly enough. Yeah. Lucky. Did I hear you? You might have played against some of the boys at MPL level, up in some of the Queensland-based boys. Oh, that was so long ago. I don't even remember because sometimes I didn't even start. I was on the bench. I'd come on sometimes, like here and there. I grew up playing against Rami. Yeah, we played against each other for a few years. Um, we were the same age group, same kind of areas. Um, I was at Kenley Heights. He was at. Mounty, I think, um, and then he went to Westfields with me for a couple couple months as well. So I played against him a few times. Similar kind of player back there. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, he's a good player. He's always been a good player. Um, he still is a very good player. 
Yeah, awesome. There you go. Um, came to hear, I guess, about behind the scenes playing at Premier League clubs, the training grounds. Do you boys both remember, I guess, the first time you might have had that call up to train with the first team and what it might have been like? Yeah. Um, yeah, it was nerve wracking, of course. Um, you just want to try and impress as much as possible, but also not look too nervous if that makes sense to look too out of place um i was lucky because there was a few young boys already up there that i went to school with so um they helped me a lot but yeah of course just the normal feelings of being very nervous um but excited at the same time i was yeah same i was so nervous first time i got called up to train with the first team like i just didn't want to do make any mistakes mm -hmm. um like the concentration the intensity was just like nothing I've ever experienced before but the experience was like surreal it was so good being there like training with all of them because you see them on tv and then you're actually there with them it's like wow this is it now any players in particular like that you watch in training and sort of go wow no no because like, Zaha he was like because I was using him on FIFA like, back in the day <laughs> And then now I was playing like with him and now playing against him. Yeah, class. He's a good player. Tough to mark. Didn't skin you a couple of times or? Mm, I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> but yeah, he's good. He's a good player. There you go. What about it? Add Fulham had a few players come in, particularly the last few years, eh? Yeah. Um, at the minute, it's Mitro, Mitrovic. He's just mm -hmm. so strong and powerful. Um, We've had a good few players, like Sherlock. Sherlock was good. He was like a class above everyone else. Um, Ryan Babel, he was good as well. Um, no, there's been a few good players, a few very good players. There you go. And I guess coming back to camp here, with all that experience you boys have had, obviously it is a youth team, but you two are probably two of the more experienced players in the squad. Do you feel like that's going to kind of feed the role that you guys play at this tournament? Do you feel like you want to step up and have more of a leadership role within the group? Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. Um, yeah, it is a bit of a younger group, but there's also boys older than us or our age. Um, so yeah, I think it's just about helping each other and um, yeah, being a leader when possible, but also um, being an example on the pitch. Yeah, being a leader on and off the pitch is like massive here as well, like getting the boys to gel together. Um, but yeah, I'd like to be someone that the obviously the younger boys look up to as well. Um, but yeah, I think we've got um, a great bunch of boys here and yeah, ready to get going. Obviously, Jay, you're the only player in this squad that, that went to Tokyo. So what do you take out of that experience? And have you had some conversations with the boys here telling them about it? Um, I haven't spoken too much about it, but the experience overall was like something I've never ever thought of that would have happened in my career. So when I did get the call up, there was such an amazing feeling. My family, my friends, like, they were so happy for me. Um, but yeah, an experience I'd never forget. And I was so happy to be a part of it. And yeah. How do you look back on that, that tournament, particularly that, that Argentina game? Is it still a, a bit surreal to think about? Yeah, the boys were, they were amazing in that game. Um, I can't even put it into words like what was going through my mind, but the feeling of it was all I could do was watch and smile, basically. <laughs> like it was so good. I was so happy for them. Yeah, awesome. You guys have had a few camps here and there with the, the national teams, and also I'm sure you've been overseas with your club teams too. Any cities you've visited? Obviously, we're in Tashkent. It's been pretty, pretty unique. Um, the bus trip home from training last night pretty much said it all. Um, how does this compare? And I guess, are there any other cities you visited that, that stand out? Um, how does Marbella. it compare? Yeah, last year we went to Marbella. It was nice because like our hotel was like right off the beach. It was COVID, so we weren't allowed to leave, but you, you don't mind just staying around the beach and just chilling. Um, so that was really nice. Um, yeah, for you? Marbella. It's got to be Marbella. Like, we could literally walk onto the beach. Like, it was probably the best. That was, the hotel was so big. Obviously, we had COVID, so we couldn't leave the hotel, but I wouldn't even leave the hotel anyway. Yeah. Everything was there. Like, the yeah. pool was there. Like, yeah, there was everything there. 
the sun, like, oh, that was the best, best camp for me. That was my first camp as well, so yeah, set the standard high. Yeah. We've just got to settle for this, this pool right here um, <laughs> that we've, I think you boys will be heading into after this chat. Yeah, I think so. I think some so. recovery. Yeah, that pool's all right. It's all right, pretty warm, hey? Oh, that, there's a bit there that's warm. <laughs> my special bit there has like the jet, the jet boost that pushes out like hot water and I just stay right there. That's me. Okay, that's the spot. No, yeah, that's getting that's close. Spot. <laughs> um, yeah, just being Aussies based overseas and particularly in the UK, do you guys see much of each other or much of the other Aussies over there? Do you sort of like look out for each other or is it just sort of when you play each other or cross paths? Um, we look out for each other. Um, he's obviously living in Manchester now. I'm in London, so it is quite far. Um, it's hard when, when we're in our own schedules. Like he's got so many games, I've got so many games. So it's hard. It's hard to see each other outside of football. Um, but definitely, I definitely do look out for other Aussies in terms of like following their fixtures and their results and everything. Yeah, same with me. Like I see them on like social media and that. Like obviously, it's hard to. Because everyone's doing that, everyone's on their own journey, everyone's on their own path, where everyone's focused to, mm -hmm. to play at the highest level as they can. So I think like we all like, we know that we're there, but we all have an understanding that we want to kick on with our football career. So wherever we can support in any way, we do. But I think we're all focused on our career. I guess you have to be considering how young you guys, you know, moved overseas, like. What's the biggest challenge with that? And also, is there something you, you kind of like about that? But did you guys move over with, without your families? Like I moved over with my family. Okay. Um, I've got a little brother that plays at Bristol. So, mm. um, yeah, my whole family moved over. So that, that helped a lot because at least I had them. Even though I didn't know no one over there, I, I had them. Um, so that, that did help a lot. But, yeah, the biggest challenge is like, London to Sydney is just completely different. Like lifestyle, the weather, the way people are, it's so different. So that was my biggest challenge, just trying to adapt to that. Um, but look, I'm used to it now. Um, so, yeah. When I moved over, I moved over by myself. I moved in with my auntie and uncle and my cousins. So I was basically with family, but obviously I moved from the Gold Coast into mm. Croydon. <laughs> So like, like it was like my whole world's been flipped upside down. Like the the weather was terrible. There was no beaches. Everyone looked a bit like a bit angry there. Like it was hard. Like the first few months were very very hard. And obviously like I picked up a little injury on my knee. So yeah, like I wasn't in the best um, state of mind, but. Like after when I started to get going, started playing football, then like everything started to ease out and then, yeah, it was good. There you go. And then just finally, before we get into some, some quick fire questions that I'll throw at you boys, um, just looking ahead to this tournament, uh, playing against Asian opposition probably isn't something either of you have done a lot. Um, what are you expecting and I guess hoping to achieve? Um, what we're hoping to achieve is firstly win the tournament for sure. Um, yeah, well, the opposition. Yeah, we don't. We wouldn't have played against many Asian op oppositions. Um, so I think the football will be different to Europe. Um, how so? I'm not sure, but it'll be tough for sure. It'll be tough. But yeah, ultimate objective is to win. Yeah, we, like that's our main goal is to win. Obviously, like any game that comes up against us, we want to win. Um, we haven't seen too much. I haven't seen too much of the opponents yet, but I'm sure it's gonna be it's gonna be a hard competition. But yeah, no, nah, we just need to get the group together and just kick on. The heat, obviously very different to over in the UK. Is yeah. it something you've thought about? Yeah, no, no, it's something that I'm not used to. Um, and it, it takes time to get used to, but like, I enjoy the heat, but yeah, the humidity in that is tough. It's very tough, but I guess we'll get used to it. All good. Well, we will get into a few quick fire questions. I've asked these to all of the boys. We've had a few different responses over the last couple of days. So when you're hanging around camp, um, do you have a go-to game or activity that you guys like to play? Go-to? Uh, uh, we've you know what table it is. tennis at the minute. Oh, yeah, table tennis. <laughs> I've, had a, oh, I've had a bad start 
for the camp. I've been losing but a lot of games. Very bad start he's had. <laughs> but the potential, <laughs> I've got a great potential. I'm a bit rusty at the moment. And he talks a great game as well. Yeah. He talks a great game. I am a good player. <laughs> Ty is good. Ty is good. But give me like a little couple more days and then we'll see. We'll get the camera down there as well. Yeah. And then we'll see. We'll yeah. see. Once we're in tournament mode, then you'll be, you'll I'll be to serious. Go. We'll see. <laughs> You heard or seen any of the other boys um, play? Is there anyone that you're you're a bit worried about or that you have set your your targets on? Uh, Rami's good. I saw him play yesterday. Rami's good. He, he beat scared. him quite heavily yesterday. I wasn't, I wasn't playing. Scared. <laughs> um, but no, I haven't. I haven't really seen the other boys play. To be honest with you, Rami's good. He is good. Ty, Ty. I've only played Ty, Rami, and Tristan. Tristan. <laughs> that's that. Like, Get my confidence up with Tristan. <laughs> then, yeah, Ty and Rami, they're my two contenders right now. I want to beat them. And then we'll see. I don't know about other boys yet. A few of the Sydney FC boys I've seen down there, they're working hard. Really? Um, yeah, Pat Yazbek and um, Cam Pepe. Uh, as well. Cam, I heard Cam's all right, actually. I thought yeah. he's all right. Yeah, so we'll see exactly. We'll get the cameras down there once you're ready, Jay. Yeah, course. I'm going to start watching videos on YouTube. <laughs> now. YouTube we'll tutorials. See. Yeah, nice. Um, Next one, your favorite meal in camp? Oh, favorite meal in camp. Or your go-to? Um, you know, mine was just back to the basics, pasta. Bolognese pasta with cheese. Can't go wrong, I don't think. Um, safe, it's a very safe bet. Is that with like breakfast, lunch and dinner? You can give me your favorite. You don't have to go through all of them, all good. <laughs> uh, what do I, I just like chicken. <laughs> I, I, when I see chicken, I just, that's what I grab and then, I could either have rice or pasta because you can have you can have either or with, yeah. with the chicken. But as long as there's chicken on the plate, then that's not my favorite. The chicken's been disappearing by the time it gets to the yeah, staff. Yeah. All the chicken's it's gone. Him. The last it's him. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Now we know the culprit. There we go. Um, you boys obviously have had to sit through plenty of, of long plane trips. Maybe not so much the last few years. Um, but is there a way that you pass the time? What What do you do on, on a long? No, I struggle on long trips. Just trying to sleep as much as possible, to be honest with you. Um, music, movies, yeah, and sleep. That's mine. Yeah, that's what I was trying. I just cocoon myself. Like, I brought a blanket. I just cocoon myself in a blanket, close my eyes, put my headphones on, and just, I just try and drift away. I don't really like the turbulence and all that, so... If I'm sleeping through it, that's the best. Because when I'm watching movies, you can feel the plane shake and I hate it. I hate it. So I just try and sleep. Fair, fair. Um, oh, you're going to love this one. Oh. Do you have a favourite goal that you've scored? Oh, oh, what a goal. <laughs> oh. Uh, roll the clip. Yeah, uh, yeah roll his clip. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's got to be the, the most recent one against Wimbledon. That was banger. Best goal I've ever scored. That's whole, a banger. Yeah, in my whole career. Oh, I don't know. I just, I actually don't know. I remember taking a touch and then seeing the little gap and I just try to hit it as hard as I could. Because I knew, like, if I hit it that hard, I felt like the goalkeeper could, like, parry it away. But then it just ended up flying in the top corner. I was like, yeah. I, like, I, I was, like, surprised when it went in as well. I just didn't know what to do. Like, <laughs> Because you know, before you score, you, you think about celebration that you're going to do. And then when you actually I just, score, I just you're run like... off. I started running off. I was like, yeah. So, yeah, that was my best goal, favourite goal. Were there any teammates, like, calling out, you know, don't shoot type thing? Here we go. Uh, Do to get him on camera? Yeah, We've got of... the boys coming in now. I hope they don't take my spot. Wreaking a bit of havoc. <laughs> <laughs> All good. Yeah, your spot's up for grabs. We won't keep you much longer. They don't know about it yet. No, they don't know. Oh, so okay. I, I've got a spot as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Keep right, it quiet. What, All right. What was that? Um, well, I was just saying, were any of the boys like going, don't like you know when a defender's oh, yeah, yeah, bearing down? Shoot. Was there someone like? I don't know because in training, I, I hit a few of them, not that good, but like I can like strike a ball. So I didn't even like I couldn't really hear anything. I just thought if I hit this, and it's on target, we could it could be like an opportunity for a goal. Mm. And then, yeah, lucky enough, I hit it. It just like bubbled up a little bit as I hit. <laughs> just flew in. He's proud of that one. Yeah, yeah I got to give it to him. It was a banger. Yeah, yeah. it was a banger. <laughs> you got any goals to to rival? Um, I scored one last year against Aston Villa, half volley, 
Um, but no, I'll give, I'll give it to Jay. Jay's was better. It was better. But yeah, that was probably my best goal last year. All right, let's smash through our last three or four. Um, past and present, world football. Who's the player that you would have loved to play alongside the most? Uh, Messi. Mm. Yeah, Messi would be good. Yeah, it would be nice. Nice. <laughs> that, that would be, nice. be good. It would be nice. Um, but, yeah, Messi. And the opposite, a player that you would never want to play against? Probably him again. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Fair. Probably yeah. him again for me. Same with me. Messi, <sighs> unbelievable. Fair enough. Dream club, if you could play for any club in the world? Dream uh, club. Um, Real Madrid or Barcelona? Mine's PSG. Like I'm from Paris as well, so. Fair enough. Fair enough. And the last question, the best and worst roommate that you've ever had? Um, worst roommate? Okay, my last, the last camp I had, he, he wasn't a bad guy. He just snored a lot. Like, really, really loud. <laughs> like, he woke me up at several times at, at the night. So, yeah, he was probably, he, he wasn't great. <laughs> my worst roommate would have to be this player at Accrington, Cody, he's just so loud. He's so <laughs> loud with everything he does, always playing music. He's just in, in his own world, Cody, yeah. And best roommate, I don't know. Apart from Cody, all the roommates have been fine. Pretty solid, yeah. yeah. I don't have a best roommate, yeah. pretty solid. My little bitch. Sweet. <laughs> 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 best room I don't know I don't know all of them alright we're getting some signals from the boys over in the pool I don't want to go in no do I <laughs> I don't want to go in there either okay we can keep talking yeah, if you let's want. keep going no, yeah. no we're, we're all good we'll wrap it up there anyway um, and we'll let you go and maybe go claim your spot um, we'll all see right, if anyone's yeah. taken it no yet. no one I don't think they know about it they don't even know about it because I have one right next to them as well okay <laughs> it's, near, it's near that plot yeah <laughs> All right. Thanks, boys. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Best. Thank you very much. Cheers. Oh, we get towels, eh? Yeah.